Are you having trouble with your bifold doors coming off the track up top where that little bracket keeps coming loose? It seems like every time you tighten it that you can't get it to stay tight. And then the track all deforms and can't figure out how to make it stay tight. Well, you're at the right place because I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to fix that without changing the track. But if your track is too far gone and you feel that it needs changed, well, you're at the right place too because you click on that button up top there and that'll take you to the video to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Basically, all we need is a set of channel locks or regular pair of pliers, two screws, and a drill. So you can kind of see how that track is so bent so apart and it's because see how, how that moves when you open and shut your door that comes loose so take your take your channel locks and open them up and go up here and kind to bend this back I decided it's a little bit easier to get to the the track by taking the door off all you got to do is just grab a hold of the door and lift it up and bring the bottom out like that and then as soon as the bottom's out then it drops down and you can get that pin out of that that hole but I thought it'd be a little bit easier to video with the door out even though it can be done with the door in so here you can kind of see how I pull this bend this back together that now where it was bent out and what we're going to do is just take a couple screws and I, I shared in the beginning of the video it would take two screws but actually I want to put a screw here 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 and put maybe two or three screws along each side here and what that will do is it'll keep that from spreading out okay there's the six screws that i decided to put in here usually what happens is this comes loose this screw and then this moves back and forth so this screw here on the end will help hold this channel in shape same way back here this is where the the door is rod goes up through there to hold the door on that moves back and forth also. And so that puts strain on the channel there. Why did I put two here? The reason is that's where the round piece, you can see this in the center of the door, when it folds over, it will put pressure back and forth right there. So that is a quick and easy fix and Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tighten this back up. You can probably get it tighter by using it by hand. But that seems to be pretty tight. And we'll put the door back up and see how it works. Okay, see how that, when we have the door open, right now it's shut. Everything seems to be nice and tight when that goes shut there. And you can see how move that door back and forth that holds that channel into place. And let's pull this door all shut. And you don't even see the see those six screws up in there, so that is a great job. Okay, so that's how it's done, and that's how quick and easy it is. Just six screws on each side. Go ahead and do the same thing, repeat what you did on this one with the other door. And you'll be good as new, and keep your wife happy that the doors don't fall off when she opens it up to, to dry and wash her clothes. So if you see this content helpful, hit the thumbs up. That helps us help you, and until the next time, in the next video, have a great day.